Hello, it's Chum Games here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create simple touch swipe system. So check this, where my mouse is here on the top left corner. When I uh, swipe up, it says up, down, right, and left. So yeah, let's get started. So first, let's go to the third person folder and to the blueprints. And uh, what we want to do first, we want to right click and create a new blueprint class. It will be type player controller. Let's call it player controller, like that. Now let's select our, uh, actually let's select our BB third person game mode. Let's set our player controller to our new class, player controller, like that. Let's compile, save, and let's close. Now let's open the player controller. And here what we want to do, we want to show mouse cursor and yeah, that's it. Compile and save and let's close. Now let's go to the edit and to the project settings. Here we want to search for a mouse for touch. Use mouse for touch. Simple as that. Now we can close this. So now we can get to the real uh, functionality. So let's open our player blueprint. Here what we want to do, I actually want to delete all the other controls. You don't have to do this, but I will just get more like empty space here. So what we want to do now, we want to right click and search for a touch. Okay, let's scroll down where we have this touch under touch input. Okay, let's get it here. Let's split the location. And what we want to do now, we want to get from the location X and we want to make vector 2D. Now let's get on also the Y value to here. Now let's promote this to a variable and let's connect it to the pressed. This variable will be called touch start location. And now let's set it to the category of touch. Okay, now let's also promote this to a variable on the uh, moved. Let's move this a little bit further down. Now let's rename this variable to touch print location. And let's also put it under the touch category, like that. Now what we want to do is we want to also create another uh, variable. Let's call this touch active, or you can call it touching or whatever. Okay, let's put it to the touch. Now let's set it true on the input touch pressed. This. Now let's also set it false on the released. Simple as that. Okay, when we start touching, we will get the location and we will set it to active. And when we release, we will set the uh, touch active to false. And when we move, we will check the current location. And now what we want to do, we want to add a branch. So B and left click here. Now we want to check if we are touching. So if the touch is active, okay? And if it is, we want to get a sequence. So S and left click. Now we want to add two more pins. So we have in total of four. And what we want to do next, we want to add a branch up here. So B and left click. Let's get from 10, zero. Let's move it to here and let's add a reroute. So double click the line and move this here. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to get the touch start location and we want to minus from it. And we want to minus the touch current location from it. So we will get the difference of the uh, values of the variables. Now we want to check if this is greater. Actually, sorry, we want to split this and get the x value. If the x value is greater, now we want to promote this to a variable. And this will be called touch uh, move or like movement press hold 
okay this will be the amount that the touch has to move uh, so it calls the actual function so let's set this also to the touch category okay well, let's connect this to here now let's set this touch move uh, movement threshold to like 10 so it will be 10 pixels basically you can adjust it to whatever you want but let's first make it like this compile and save and after this from the true we want to set the touch active to false then let's add a print string so we can actually see what is happening and here we want to call left okay now let's copy all this code paste it under here and we want to actually paste it three times so we have in total four of these now we have three and now we have four now let's connect 10 1 10 2 and 10 3 and actually let's leave a little bit more space so one two one two and one two like that and also let's align it better with the sequence like that so here in the first we're checking the touch start location minus touch current location if it's greater than touch uh, movement threshold if it is we will call the left okay and here on the x what we want to do next we want to call the right so we want to get the move the touch movement threshold to here and we want to multiply it by minus one so we can get it as negative value so if the threshold is 10 this will make it minus 10 now we want to check if the x is less than minus 10 or whatever we have set to the threshold okay uh, remember to connect this and now we want to call the right okay now here on the third one we want to check if the y value is greater than the uh, touch movement threshold because y is the upwards axis okay and if it is we want to call up here at the bottom we want to delete this we want to get from the y and we want to check if it's less and this value will of course be again the touch movement threshold multiplied by minus one like this and if that is true then we want to call down okay now when we compile and save and go to third person map and actually let's click three these uh, three dots and let's play in new editor window pi like this now you can see the game here and when we swipe up it's up when we swipe down down right right left left now i will show you quickly how to implement this to real functionality so now we have this code here so if we actually want to do something with these inputs what we want to do is we can let's create a let's uh pretend that you have your function here for example a uh, jumping function i will quickly create one so let's check like uh, jump if you have your jumping code here this will be it for now you want to right click before it and you want to create a custom event and let's call it for example jump event or jump or whatever okay and now let's connect it to your code okay now what we want to do we want to call it on the up so you don't actually need these print strings here but these are just for testing purposes so now that we know everything works we can actually delete this so now after the touch active we want to call the jump event that we just created so now it will call from here this event which is your jumping code compile and save and when we play and we swipe up you can see the player is jumping so yeah i think that was actually all for this video if you like what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you on the next one